obviously we're talking about therapeutic doses in capsules, which we'll talk about the protocol and what that looks like. But from a supportive food, like foundational, I guess you're saying your meals as medicine from a nutrient density standpoint, the main dietary source for C15 is going to be dairy fats. Is that, is there any other sources? And then are there superior types of dairy fats that provide more ample amounts of this fatty acid? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, our main source, so dolphins were getting their C15 from specific types of fish. And in those fish, it was primarily in the skin and the heads, parts of fish that we don't eat. So it is not, fish are not our primary or even a secondary tertiary source of C15. For us, um, just like you mentioned, it's, it's whole dairy fat. And dairy fat is such a reliable source of C15 that it's C15 has actually been used for decades by scientists to measure how much dairy fat we've eaten. So it's actually a biomarker of how much milk you just drink you know, today. So very reliable. You know, one of the criteria of an essential fatty acid is that, you know, we have to have certain levels of it in our body to stay healthy. Um, and uh, our bodies can't make enough of it. Therefore, we have to get it from our diet. So C15, um, by far, whole fat dairy is our primary source of mm -hmm. C15. Within those, like, what's your question of like, what are the best ones? We know that when cows are fed corn, for example, their C15 levels are lower than cows that are fed grass. So grass fed uh, whole dairy fat will have, you can hedge your bets in having the most C15 in it. Novel idea, right? Novel idea. <laughs> I know, kind of going back, letting nature do its thing is yeah. kind of a big lesson of the, the whole this whole podcast. So, and like a grass fed, I mean, obviously ghee, it's like pure fat or a full fat kefir or cream. I'm assuming that would be the most rich source of it from a food standpoint, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so, and that's where it's, you know, a big push is. You well, know, uh, with pediatricians now are, you know, telling all parents as soon as your kid turns two years old to take your child off of whole fat milk. And so, you know, the big question is, have we been, you know, methodically taking away this good C15, uh, you know, at starting at a really early age and plant based milks, for example, have no C15 in it. Um, so, yeah, so dairy is our main source. The, the downside of dairy is that. While it does contain C15, of all the fats in dairy, about 1% of it is C15. About 40% of it are these pro-inflammatory, even chain saturated fats like C16 and C18. So when studies have tested like pure C15, for example, and um, dairy fat in models of type 2 diabetes and fatty liver disease, they show that the models actually get worse on dairy fat, um, mm -hmm. better on the pure C15. And so, you know, it's a big movement right now. Usually eating foods is your best thing to do. Um, and when it comes to omega-3s, eat fish, right? Um, but in this case, because C15 is at such low levels, the science does seem to support that being able to take it out and make C15 you know, available without having to compete with those pro-inflammatory fats, that, that there's an advantage. Mm -hmm.